Okay, we're going to very quickly look at two others here. Uh, we've got a quadrilateral inscribed by, in a circle. Quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. That theorem says if you have a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, the opposite angles are what? Supplementary. Okay, so that means angle W and angle Y are supplementary. So what's the supplement of 120? Add what to it to get 180? That means this has to equal 60 degrees. What do we add to 55 degrees to get 180? Well, 60 is 120, so this is going to be 125. Okay, oops, 125, not 120. 125. Okay? Opposite angles are supplementary when you have a quadrilateral. Now, this one, we have an inscribed angle that intercepts a diameter. AC is diameter. What do we know about an inscribed angle that intercepts a diameter? It's a right, tri it's a right angle. So this is a right triangle. We have the two legs, therefore 5 squared plus 12 squared equals AC squared. So that's 25 plus 144 equals 169 equals 13. Okay, so AC equals 13. Well, what's AD? Half, divide that by half, and you've got 6.5. So AD equals 6.5. Again, diameter intercepted by an inscribed angle creates a right triangle. We're going to move pretty fast through these. They're pretty simple. On the left, we've got this circle and we've got this right here. Now let's cut this in half because we've got a diameter right here. Well, we've got a diameter right here. We've got an angle, an inscribed angle that intercepts a diameter. What do we know about an inscribed angle that intercepts a diameter? Creates a right angle. Oh wow, we have another one up here, don't we? Creates a right angle. So the measure of angle 2 has to be 90 degrees. Well, this is 90 degrees, so these two angles added together equal 90 degrees. We know this one's 40. 90 minus 40 equals, what do you got? 50 degrees, so this equals 50 degrees. Okay? So we're looking at that right there. Now, let's come over here and look at this. We've got a circle that circumscribes a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. What do we know about that? We know that opposite angles are supplementary. Not only that, we have two sides. Opposite sides are parallel. So we have a trapezoid. What do we know about the leg angles of a trapezoid? The leg angles of a trapezoid are supplementary. Okay, so let's find this one and then we can find this one. Opposite angles are supplementary. So 180 minus 92 equals, I think that looks like 88. This equals 88. Okay, now 88. And, and angle 2 have to be supplementary, so we're looking at 180 minus 88. But duh, what do you think that is? I think that fits right there, so this is 92 degrees. This equals 92 degrees, okay? Reaching way back, going back and getting this stuff about parallel lines, cutting the transversal, okay? These are interior, same side interior angles. They're supplementary, same side, supplementary. Same side interior angles cut by transversal, parallel lines cut by transversal, and quadrilateral circumscribed by a circle, opposite angles are congruent. Sample problems.